method of display we are talking about the theory of ic analysis so let's see that how it actually displays its uh, con constituent of a sentence the best method to display is to use a tree diagram where the branching show the division as we have seen in the previous one that in ic analysis the constituents are also shown other than the brackets uh, through the tree diagram but this tree diagram is very simple in its display for example if you look at this the young man followed a girl we know that each of the constituent has been very well displayed separated from other followed and uh, has gone up to morpheme but we are not sure what these constituents are similarly if we take a more complex sentence the young man with a paper followed a girl in a blue dress we find this being displayed through the same tree diagram and uh, it was done on the basis of binary division right each constituent is uh, divided uh, accordingly but this does not help us much in understanding the actual nature of the constituent of a sentence where to make the first cut the answer lies in the notion of expansion and what is expansion it's a sequence of element said to be an expansion of another if it can be substituted for either so substitution is the very important basic procedure in stru all structural analysis the first ic's are the following if we take the sentence that we've just talked about let's take the let's apply this notion of uh, expansion to the sentence the young man with a paper is one uh, one element and followed the girl with blue dress is another not the young man with a paper and followed so this is not possible so second one is not possible reason firstly the young man with a paper is an expansion of john so we can say john followed if we had included john with the first first cut then it would not be possible john followed the girl with blue dress similarly followed the the girl with blue dress can be uh, substituted or can be an expansion of uh, arrived so we can say john arrived so the young man with a paper arrived on the basis of our arguments we can conclude the ic's of our longer sentence are the young man with a paper and followed the girl with blue dress we, because we have applied the uh, notion of expansion to the elements expansion being technical indicates the substitution of one sequence of element with another look at the following children american children three american children three american children with a dog those three american children with a dog so each of them can be uh, can be replaced or substituted with other so expansion can be of different type we have endocentric expansion endocentric construction is one in in way there is expansion of the more literal kind it contains an element a word for which it can be substituted right this word is known as head so in a noun phrase the noun is the head in a verb phrase the verb is a head in an adjective phrase the adjective is the head so exocentric construction and exocentric construction cannot be substituted for any of its elements and thus has no head for example if we take a with a paper so with a paper cannot be substituted with any of its element nor with with or with a or with paper right so not an expansion of any of its part an exocentric construction cannot be substituted for any of its part and thus thus has no head so in exocentric expansion there is no head because of endocentricity that we can talk of noun phrase verb phrase for those for these are endocentric because they the construction they are the, they have the construction uh, with noun verb and as their head so in endocentric constructions we have phrases and all the phrases have one head 
and that head can replace the whole phrase. So uh, this is the notion of expansion in IC analysis, the theory of IC analysis. And uh, this is a very important notion uh, in understanding IC analysis.